What is up, gang? What is up, squad? I'm back with another YouTube video, back with another one. And today we will be doing a reaction video. Apparently, we've been doing 17 things wrong. Like everything we've been doing daily, from eating to using the restroom to just everything we've been doing, we've been doing it wrong. So I'm about to watch this video and see what they talking about. Cause I just wanna know what have we been doing wrong? Because apparently it's been working out for me. And yeah, I'm about to click on the video. Let's see what they're talking about. Let's see Facts presents things you've done wrong all your life. How, bro? Number one, I've been doing it crossing all my life. out words. Working. When most people are writing and they need to cross out what was written, they'll often just draw lines back and forth over the words. This is a mistake. When you cross out the words with lines, they will still be legible. If you cross out the writing with oh, letters geez. rather than words, it'll be impossible to tell what was crossed out. If you don't want anyone to be able to tell what you wrote and crossed out, use letters rather than lines. Number two, organizing your spray bottles. This is the perfect example of one of the 10 things you've done wrong all your life. If you're like most people, you have several spray bottles full of cleaning products under your sink. All these different cleaning products can take up a lot of space. If you want to save space under your sink, you should install a clothing rod under the sink. You'll be able to hang the spray bottles from the rod, and they won't take up space on the floor of the cabinet. This will allow you to put other items on the floor, doubling your space. Number three, keeping cords from getting tangled. Most people keep their headphones in a drawer or in a purse or a bag. When they take their headphones out to use them, they usually come out tangled. If you have a charger in your bag or the drawer as well, the two can become tangled in each other. The best way to keep this from happening is to wrap them with a plastic bread tie. It'll save you a great deal of time when you need to use your charger or your headphones. If you're in the mall, Number four, you're just about to be making a bologna a sandwich. Uh, when you make a bologna sandwich, the bologna <laughs> will be in the center of no, the bread. No, no, but you'll get no, nothing when no. you bite the edges of the bread. The bologna just isn't big enough. Even if you use two pieces of bologna and overlap them, you still won't be able to get bologna in every bite. The way to correct this problem is to cut those slices of bologna into pieces. You can put the flat edges of the bologna flush with the edges of the bread. When you do this on all four corners, you can then be guaranteed to get a bite of bologna in every bite. Maybe one day the bologna manufacturers will realize that bread is square and they'll change the shape. Number five, heating more than one dish in the microwave. When you're heating up food and you what? need to heat up two separate bowls, it can be time consuming. If two bowls don't fit in the microwave, someone will have to wait to eat. Well, if you have a coffee mug, it'll allow you to cook two dishes at once. You can put one bowl on the floor of the microwave. To fit the second bowl, you can put it on top of a coffee mug. This will allow you to use the available space at the top of the microwave. It's the best way to let both people eat at the same time. Number six, eating a cupcake. Anyone who's I've ever eaten a cupcake, eaten a cupcake wrong, knows two things. First, they are I've delicious. Second, they can be a hassle to eat. The frosting, of course, is the best part. Unfortunately, though, when you eat a cupcake, you only get frosting in the first few bites. After you've eaten the top off, well, you're left with nothing but cake. Not that that's a totally bad thing, but still. Anyway, the best way to eat a cupcake is to cut it in half just below the frosting, then flip what? it over so that the frosting is in the middle. It's like a cupcake sandwich. It'll never allow you to have one. a bite of frosting in every bite. Number That's seven, clever, listening to music on your phone. Most people download their music on their phone for a couple of reasons. First, there are several apps that let you download songs for free. Also, you always have your phone with you, therefore you'll always have your music with you. Some people spend money on expensive Bluetooth or plug-in speakers to enhance the sound of their phone. If you don't want to spend the money on a speaker or you don't have one with you, Put your phone in a red solo cup. It'll enhance the sound okay, without needing to buy a speaker. I've seen people doing Number eight, this. This is like a drinking soda right from a can. If you're drinking soda from a can and you choose to use a straw, we the carbonation from the soda can, can push the straw and up and right out of the can. Me. The best way to keep this from happening is to take advantage of that pull tab. It's there for more than just opening the can. After you open your soda, turn the tab so that the hole is over the opening in the can. You can then slide your straw through that hole, keeping it in its place. Number nine, serving drinks outdoors. 
If you're going to be serving drinks outdoor in the summer, you need to worry about flies, ants, and other bugs crawling or flying into your drinks. Ugh. Well, not only is this really disgusting, it can also be a huge waste of a drink. Well, if you want to keep the bugs from getting into your guests' glasses, cover those glasses with upside-down cupcake liners. That's to make smart. drinking easier smart. and to keep the cupcake liners over the drink, one, you can push a straw smart. through the middle. Not only will the right liner there. keep the bugs out of the drinks, they'll also yeah. dress up those drinks a bit. Number 10. Peeing yeah. while standing up. After a boy is fully potty trained and can How aim, he goes from peeing sitting down to standing up to pee. Actually, How this could be a mistake. Peeing? There are several reasons that men should Uh-oh. pee sitting down. First, they won't need to worry about missing the toilet bowl when they go. Come on, admit it, guys, we're not always the best with our aim. Second, it makes emptying the bladder a bit easier, especially for men with prostate issues. Finally, going to the bathroom can be more relaxing when you're sitting down. The next time you have to pee, guys, try doing it sitting down. You just might find you like it better. Number 11. Cleaning your microwave. When most people clean their microwave, they spray some cleaner on the stuck-on food and scrub until their arms go numb. Well, that's a mistake. There's a much easier way to clean your microwave when you wouldn't need to scrub at all. To do this, combine one cup of water, one chopped up lemon, and three tablespoons of vinegar in a bowl. Put it in the microwave and cook it in the microwave for five minutes. When the microwave beeps, leave the door closed for about 15 minutes. By the time you open the microwave, all of the stuck-on food will be loosened up, and you can just wipe it right off. It'll save you a great deal hey, of energy. It's a life hack, Number it's 12. A life hack. Sorting but laundry. It's just a lot. When it comes to doing laundry, sorting can take a great deal of time. If you want to make doing laundry breath. easier, you can forget sorting altogether. You can clothes. purchase a dirty clothes hamper that has three compartments. Clothes. You can use one for your whites, one for your Let's colors, and wow, one for your delegates. If you put your dirty clothes in the right hamper after you take them off, There'll be no need to sort the laundry on laundry day. It can make the whole laundry process easier and faster. Number 13. Cleaning your ceiling fans When most people clean their ceiling fans, it can become a bigger job than they had planned on. If you climb up to dust your fan, the dust will fall on your bed, your furniture, or your floor, depending on where your fan is located. After the fan is clean, you would need to clean the dust up a second time. Well, the best way to clean your ceiling fans without making that mess below is to use an old pillowcase. Place the fan inside the pillowcase and rub the blade. All the dust from the fan will stay in the pillowcase, so you don't need to worry about the dust falling. True. Number 14. Making iced coffee Most people How love a nice glass coffee? of iced coffee it's during the summer. On a hot day, it doesn't morning. take long for that ice to melt, though, watering down your coffee. Well, there is a way to make your iced coffee and be sure that it won't get watered down. You should make a pot of coffee and fill your ice trays with it. Put the trays in the freezer and make coffee ice cubes. When you put them in your iced coffee and they start to melt, who cares? Coffee's melting into your coffee. <laughs> You'll never need to worry about drinking down watered-down coffee. Number 15. Get your drink cold quickly. This is one of the yeah, things you've been doing wrong good. all your life. There's nothing worse than going to grab a I've drink a and it's not bro. cold yet. While putting it in the freezer in there, can make it cold faster, you can also make it really cold. Okay, and that just happened. Okay, and that just happened. Okay, and that just happened. In just 15 minutes, all you need to do is take a wet cloth and wrap it around the bottle before you put it in the freezer. In just 15 mm, minutes, never, your drink will be ice cold. Okay. Number 16. Uh, opening a can of Pringles. Pringles are I'm very like, uh, easy to open. The hard part is when you try to get the chips out of the can without open, breaking them. The Rather than sticking your hand in and getting but it okay, stuck it. or pouring them into your palm, you can use a simple piece of paper. Life. Fold the, the paper in life. half and then push it into the can. Gently slide the paper out and you'll get neatly stacked chips that are unbroken and ready to be eaten. I didn't need to think of that. Number 17. Open a, coconut. Open a coconut. Most people before, avoid so. buying coconuts because they're so difficult to open. It's actually not as difficult as you think. The first thing that you want to do is to get the juice out. Now, to do this, you screw a corkscrew into the eyes of the coconut. Put it over a glass or a bowl and allow the juice to drain. To open it to get to the fruit, put it in a plastic bag and hit it with a hammer, a concrete floor, or with any hard object. 
When you open the bag, the coconut should be cracked open so that you can easily access the fruit. Bruh, bruh, bruh. We have been doing almost everything wrong. Everything we've been doing on our daily life it has been done wrong according to this video. Come on. Really a lot of the stuff he was saying in the video were life hacks. They just want stuff that we were doing wrong, but stuff that we could do better, I would say. But yeah, man, that's crazy, bro. We've been doing everything wrong. You men have been peeing wrong. Over the Pringles wrong. Cleaning the microwave wrong. <laughs> Y'all niggas need to stop living wrong and start living right like dude said. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, click it, click it, click it, click it. Go over to my Snapchat and Twitter. It would appear right here. Go over and follow me. That's where I be when I be off of YouTube. And also, go subscribe to my daily vlog channel, man. It's in the description down below. Go show love right now and go subscribe. That's where I be every day, all day, for my daily vlog channel, man. I will see you guys again this week. Peace. Got me in the mood. Got me cashing out, girl. Strippin' in the nude, got me cashin' out, girl When you hit the pole, got me cashin' out